Hi, my name's Peter Campbell. I'd like to say a few words about why I'm running as an independent candidate for mailing ward in Burundara. I'm a long-term Surrey Hills resident and have lived in Burundara all my life. I'm passionate about climate action, our open spaces, protecting heritage, conservation of energy and water, sustainable transport, and provision of quality services to our community. A sustainable house has reduced our carbon emissions and saved energy and water since 2001. And that includes solar panels on the roof and batteries. So if the grid happens to go out, our house keeps running. My community activities include park revegetation with the Friends of South Surrey Park, volunteering with Bush Search and Rescue Victoria, searching for lost and missing people in bush and alpine areas, supporting Victoria Police, and a long-term member of the Borondara Bicycle Users Group. I'm a keen cyclist, skier, kite surfer and traveller. I have professional experience in agricultural science, information technology, systems architecture, project management, and developing business strategies. I've developed and implemented several project and operational plans. So I'm running to get action for a safe climate. Your vote at this election will determine whether Burundara shifts from laggard to leader on climate change and sustainability. Council should set a net zero emissions target by 2025 for council operations, including a transition of their vehicle fleet to electric vehicles, and not much progress has been made on that to date. The new Burundara Climate Action Plan and consequent policies, targets and actions will be vital for delivering a safe climate for future generations. A council program with subsidies for distributed energy storage in households and within microgrids of the future is also needed to transition to net zero emissions and eliminate fossil fuel use. Another key campaign issue is to build the Box Hill to Hawthorne Trail for walkers and cyclists of all ages. The recent COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the need for shared paths and open spaces. This long overdue trail from Hawthorne through to Box Hill following the railway line alignment was first, uh, first report was issued in 1995. I did an updated report in 2005. And after we succeeded in tabling a petition in the Victorian parliament, with around 1,800 local residents supporting it. A feasibility study is now underway for this and it's vital that council, council fully support this um, well overdue infrastructure. More safe, family friendly shared bike and pedestrian paths will get more people walking and riding bikes, which will reduce traffic congestion and carbon emissions and provide safe, and healthy travel for local communities. Been some recent improvements in recycling and waste management on council, but more community education is needed on the new bins to ensure that they're properly used. Open and transparent government is a key concern for residents. Council meetings should be recorded and voting records published. Our local heritage precincts, such as Mailing, Baldwin and Union Roads, need to be protected and enhanced. And local traders who provide vital services, including chemists, news agents, cafes, milk bars, hairdressers and bike shops, are very important for local communities. They enable us to buy local and they provide local employment. With COVID-19, there's been major economic impacts on both residents and local businesses. I believe council 
efforts to date have not been good enough and that great relief should be provided to both residents and local businesses. We need more activities and events for young people. Walking and riding to school will reduce traffic congestion near schools and make it safer. I was on the school council of Canterbury Primary School while my daughter was there and we walked to school every day. If elected, I will serve our community on council with persistence, dedication, honesty and integrity. I seek your support to help build a better, more sustainable Burundara and foster a vibrant and cohesive community. You can get further information about me and what I'm standing for and my contact details on my website, pettycampbellburundara.com. Please contact me if you've got any follow-up questions. I would also like to hear from you about what your local issues and concerns are. Note that postal voting closes 6 p.m. on Friday, the 23rd of October, 2020. So make sure you've filled out your ballot, numbered the candidates in the order of your choice and posted it back before then. Thank you.